Okay, in this video, we're going to be showing on how to make these uh, auxiliary upfitter switches work. These are only available in the police interceptor versions. Um, I know for sure they're in these utility ones, and I'm almost positive they're also sometimes found in the um, sedan versions. Um, I'm not sure if everything will be exactly the same in the sedans, but I'm sure they're wired similar similarly. Um, so at least hopefully the theory uh, of this will be the same. So first off, we'll take our key, put it in, turn on the ignition here, get through all my settings of it telling me that my sensors and O2 sensors are all crap. Um, sure. Okay, so the way this works, if you're not familiar with it is, these are just like having toggle switches, right? So the police would use these uh, for their lights um, and like sirens, stuff like that, anything auxiliary they need. And so that way they don't have to have switches uh, somewhere else that they have to drill in and they're just real convenient right here. Um, so like for example, if I get both to focus, if you watch right there, as I hit these, you know, one and then up again and off, down, down again, off. So, you know, one, two, three, four, there's four settings and it's toggle up, on and off. So um, these are just on off switches is all they are. Uh, in order to utilize these, they're not that uh, straightforward, uh, but they're also not that hard. Uh, but what you do need is some relays just some standard relays because these are negatively switched if you try to hook up the negative side of your um, lights you know if led light bars or chargers or whatever you're trying to hook up you might blow something in fact you probably will so um, i'll show you how we do this um, but just know that for each one of these you know up to four you're going to need one of these relays each um, so uh, i'm going to put this uh, camera on the tripod and we're going to tear into it a little bit All right, so I've already pulled this off. I just kind of have it set up here for demonstration. So this panel, there's two side panels that pop off. Then this guy comes out. Got it hung up on something. I didn't clip it back in. There we go. Um, so all that's holding on is this guy, uh, these clips and two screws. Um, underneath here, there's this module. Uh, my understanding of this module, uh, if you look up the part number, um, this is for the tire pressure sensors um, and the keyless entry. So, um, I, you know, I think that only on these cop cars, it's, it really applies to the uh, keyless entry, or sorry, to the tire pressure sensors. Um, so, and that's what this guy is. You want to leave that plugged in. This is for an antenna. I'm not sure. I haven't found the information for what, um, what antenna goes into that and what uh, function it holds. It might have to do with like remote start or something like that not sure so if you happen to know throw it in the comments to help other people out point is i don't need it but we're going to want to keep this hooked up and so when you install your center console and stuff uh, if you're going to do a console swap you're going to want to remount this module somewhere um, so you you retain that feature um, we also have our two cigarette lighters and from what i've tested these are always hot so i'm going to set this over here i've already unplugged them uh, these are the two wires for the cigarette lighter um, Let's see, there's my other one. And so if you don't have one, let's see, it's underneath my tripod here. You need to get one of these dummy lights. They're another tool that's super, super useful for um, uh, trying to find different leads and stuff like that. What's hot, what's ignition, and what's constant on. Um, it's just got these alligator cl uh, clips and you just hook it somewhere metal. And you're going to want to do a test, so you're going to want to put it somewhere that you know is hot. Uh, to make sure that you're getting a test and what it does is create a circuit uh, uh it completes a circuit and there's a light bulb in here so i happen to know that this one of these is a hot okay so i test it sure see my light is turning on so i can teach touch each of these and uh, identify um you know that's a constant right so even when the car is off there's power going there which on this is a blue red and it looks like a gray red um, now, the other side I was able to find out are ignition only. So I'm going to be able to use these for power to my center console and the chargers behind my center console. And there's two of them, which is fantastic because I don't want to put them all in one circuit. So, for example, I can tell if I hold it right on this terminal, there's nothing there, right? There's no light. But if I turn on the key, light turns on. So great way of figuring that stuff out. All right. That's just a side note. 
uh, we'll be using this uh, in the center console video. So underneath um, uh, the interceptor, uh, there's going to be several plugs. Some may or may not be used. Uh, we've already identified what these three are for. Um, but what you're left with in mind are these three. I don't know what this one's for. There's some wire coming off of it. I should probably figure that out. But um, these two I've tested. Um, this one is awesome because it's power always on. And they're big wires, so they've probably got pretty high amperage. Uh, so each of these are always on. And then on the flip side, are I tested these. These black gray wires are all negatives. Uh, you know, negative side of the circuit. So you could actually, I think it, I think I misplaced it. But oh, here it is. So this is actually the, the other side, the male side of this plug. So you could actually get pins and pin this up for whatever auxiliaries you have and plug it in there and you have your own you know, custom wire harness that's already integrated. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna piggyback, uh, these are my powers gonna be for my um, LED lights that I'm gonna put in the front. And that's what we're gonna be using the switched power for. So uh, it's good to know what these are and we're gonna take some power from here because they're nice high, high amperage. Um, okay, now this is what's referred to as a, I think it's called an, a 16 pin connector. Uh, if you look at the police interceptor uh, guides from Ford, if you look at some of the forums, they all reference the 16 pin connector. Oh. Um, there's a mixture of ignition wires. I think there is two always on, uh, like two hots. And then there's uh, some other wires in here as well. Um, the ones you're gonna wanna look for, these guys right here, the gray, white, green, yellow. These are the one through four that are on the uh, the upfitter switches on the steering wheel. But like I said, they're negatively uh, they're negative uh, switches. So in order to utilize these, um, you got to use these relays. And I'm going to show you just how it works. Um, quick quick lowdown on relays. Uh, you know you probably know this already, but uh, pretty much what this is is just a big switch uh, that's actuated by current. So pretty much on this one, um, you put the power to these. Uh, I've got my jumper right here uh, to give you a demonstration. So where you wouldn't want to just run power straight through a switch because it might be too much amperage, um, you'd run it through a relay. So you can have high amperage going uh, through these wires um, and then just the uh, low voltage to these wires. Um, if that's, you know, there's different ways you can set this up, but listen, there's a click. So that click, you can actually see on this one, it's clear. There's a contact right there. And I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> you can see it move like that. And that's the switch connecting. So now it's making contact. So then power is running um, through here. So the way you would hook this up is um, we would pull this wire. Let me zoom out here again so you can kind of see what we're doing. So we did, we established that these are always hot. So we're going to run a wire from, from here into the red. So we're pretty much going to connect, let's say, the red into there. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to have this run to, like, our light bar, right? So what's going to happen is uh, when, the, when we... Flip, flip the switch on the steering wheel. It's going to connect to these. It's going to make the click. And then power is going to run from here out to your light bar. And then on the negative side of your, into the positive side of your light bar. And then we're going to ground the negative side of the light bar anywhere. And then that will turn it on. So um, I'm not actually going to wire it up in this video, but uh, as far as like to the actual light bar, because I haven't bought it yet, but I'll show you exactly how this works. Uh, and you can hear the click and that feedback will tell us that the light would be working if it were hooked up. So uh, to do this, I'm just going to, I'm kind of going to do this a little bit ghetto. Uh, if I can find one of my T-taps here, here we go. So I'm just going to clasp it in here and I'm going to use this as like a spade connector. It's kind of not the ideal uh, setup with this, but it's good for demonstration. Okay. All right. So we've already established that these three wires are hot, so I'm just going to plug it in to that spade terminal. Um, and then this we need to have to, let's see, this would go to 
one of these wires. I'm going to do, I know this gray brown one is the number one. I don't remember which one is two, three, four. You know, you're just going to have to experiment which one's which. Um, so I'm just going to shove it in here. You know, you're obviously going to want to use like T taps or, or actually, you know, make a wiring harness or something, but just anything to get a good connection. So I'm just going to stick that in there and you could do this in any one of those. Um, but then we're going to turn the key on. Take my camera back. And then we're going to hit. Oh, okay. So hopefully you can hear the click. Okay, sweet. So it's doing its thing. So if we had power going through here, it would go power. Um, the auxiliary now if the if the relay is a little confusing uh there's a lot of videos on how relays work but the important thing is this is how you wire it up um so uh you know you're going to want to wire it up a little cleaner than what i'm doing here this is just for demonstration you know i'd probably get at bare minimum take t-taps and um, put t-tap ends on here and then crimp them onto the wires and then you, you don't have to have anything plugged in here so that, that's how this works. Now, one thing to keep in mind um, is that because this is essentially, th these switches only work when the ignition is on. And when you turn the car off, so if you listen, I don't know if you can hear that, it, it, when I turned the ignition off, it turned off all of these auxiliaries, whatever we're hooked up or to wherever we're on. Turn those back off. Um, so because of that, we can run a hot wire and not worry about accident leaving the power on because this is essentially making it so it's ignition only and even not just ignition only, but ignition after, and then we push the button. So um, th this nice big wire here is, is just fine. Um, or you could find a hot somewhere else and you could use ignition wire or always on. It doesn't matter as long if you're using the relay. So that's all you're going to be doing. And, uh, it's actually really simple, but there's not a lot of, uh, information online about this. So just to show you, you know, if we wanted to do a different one, let's, let's put it into that one. It's not going to stay. So what we're going to have to do is let's flip on like number two and then okay so number two is the white one sorry i wasn't had the camera on very good so number two is the white one then we'll turn the white one off turn on number three three is probably the green one Yep. So ergo yellow is the number four. So that's all there is to setting these up. Sorry, it's uh, probably not the fastest way of explaining that, but hopefully that illustrates it a little bit better than having to muddle through wiring diagrams and figure all that out.